Okay, come on. Okay, here we go. Now we're now we're online again. Okay, so we seem to drop off just as I was talking about the Agumon, so um, yeah. Hold on, real quick. Are we good so now? Don't have to... uh, yeah. Don't think I have to repeat anything. Um, and uh, Sonia, uh, no, I think I repeat. Sonia, is, the real Sonia is coming to Japan. Is Hiro's mother's note? So somehow Akinemon found out about uh, Hiro's mother actually having a friend called Sonia. Um, as uh, so people speculate, like, did she get eaten by a kinemon? Like, no, it seems like she never made it to Japan in the first place. Uh, and it's assume a kinemon found out all the things she did from we're back. other Digimon around the place or her, you know, network of eating brains or something. Uh, kind of curious, the Digimon break down the data when they die, though. So how does she eat the brains? Mm. Uh, not important. Uh, but it seemed to have been a pattern where like we got Ghoulis teased twice. Um, and now Ghoulis has appeared twice. Mm. So I kind of expect the next time we see Ghoulis will be relatively soon. And then, you know, someone will probably introduce themselves and we'll get plot or something finally happening. Um, because, you know, we could be through like more than a third of the show and we haven't got any plot like that's fine for me because ghost game is its own thing um ah. and like i said like i said before like they haven't started any plot yet so i don't mind that there hasn't been a plot but once they start the plot i'm gonna need plot like uh, like i said last time i think savers was nothing but plot when it started the plot mm. um, so i expect ghost game will be the same way I was hopeful the next batch, because uh, we have guy listening up to 24, and coincidentally the hiatus ended at the right time. So, um, the next episode will be you know, early May, uh, I think May 1st. So, we'll get the guide listings that week, because we always get them you know, the first week of the month, mm. once all the episodes have come out. Um, so that, that should take us up to God listings 25 to 28. Right. So on, maybe Nicholas will show up then. Back. Maybe he won't. Because um, when Gullis showed up the first time, I kind of thought like, Gullis showed up sooner than I was expecting, in all honesty. Like, I thought it'd be later, and when he does show up, it would kick off plot. Like, okay, we need to find my dad. And we need to figure out what the hell is up with Gamamon. But they didn't go with that direction, which I'm okay with. Um, mm. But yeah, I'm expecting, like, someone has some kind of interest in Gamamon. Like, I think Hok Hokuto met Gaulus somehow turned him into Gamamon and sent him to live with Hero. Mm. And maybe it's one of those things, like, um, when he shows up in episode 21, his personality seems to be... Uh, it's kind of antagonistic towards Hero, uh, disinterested um, in 13, but in episode 21 it seems more like, hey, you're a pretty cool kid, don't come to school tomorrow. No, no, no. <laughs> don't open Kindle. Uh, so I think um, it was sent to Hero to sort of um, become more like Hero. Like him, him spending time with Hero calms him down and makes him look better Digimon. But then I imagine like there's probably some evil Digimon who wants to use him for nefarious purposes because he's a, a pretty strong Digimon. Um, <laughs> but it, yeah, it's definitely going to be a wait and see thing and I'm enjoying the ride. I just hope they don't mess it up when we leave episodic territory. Um, uh, I know a lot of people have been happy with the lack of plot, but I saw someone point out, like, if Tamers came out today, you would have the same complaints. Like, yeah. <laughs> Big problem with Tamers is I can't tell you where the story starts. Ah. Oh. Um, 
Like you could start with the Deva, but nothing happens till they go to the digital world. But when they go to the digital world, still there's a bunch of filler in the digital world until they get to the sovereigns. But by the time they get to the sovereigns, it's almost time for the D Reaper. And when they get to the D Reaper, a bunch of filler happens, and then the show's over. Hmm. Okay. A lot of the other series, it's like, okay, this starts Ooh. here, this ends here. This starts here, this ends here. And, uh, hmm. Ooh, nice. Right. Like, yeah, I, th I think it's just people are less patient than they used to be. Did, wait, Nick, did you just build that all just, yep. just now? Yep. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. oh, then again, you, s you didn't. S you didn't. You <laughs> I got. Sp I got spoiled by Gunpla. I have to sand down every part now and panel line it. I'm a lot more of a character guy than a story guy. Like, story's good, but I love character more. And, like, you gotta give me good characters to care about the story. Um, mm. You know, we haven't got much in the way of character development. I kind of hope we do get it as we go along. Um, I think there is definitely room for it. Um, because, you know, people love season one's development, but their development's like, they had these a couple of important moments. And that's all you really need for a TV show. So hopefully they do remember to put more of those important moments. Um, hmm. uh, speaking of important moments, I didn't feel like we had that between Rilly and Angoramon when he evolved, what we did with, you know, Hiro and Mattel and um, Kyoshiro and Tesla Delimon. And it makes me wonder, like, what are you going to do when we get to the perfect forms? Hmm. Um, well, it's just a wait and see, like... Yeah. Just have to trust that they do it right when we get there. Mm. Like in, it's still a really good show, you should probably watch it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I only see I've only seen two episodes and I love this and I enjoyed the show already. Can't say I love it, but I am enjoying it very much. Because oh uh, please tell me I still have to add that image I made, because it just perfectly describes. Here we go. This is this is how I feel about the show. Now I get to watch episode twenty-three. Nice. And I have catching up to do. I think Hero's voice actress was terrified when she read the script. <laughs> huh. Hope it's good. One of the. Um... The social art seems to imply we'll be seeing Wizen again, and maybe we'll finally get to see a special attack, which makes me think, I think the Gullah stuff is coming to an end soon. Because mm. I mean, like, we can't get the ultimates of the perfects until we see Wizen's special attack. Um, and we seem to be going in that direction. Mm. Uh, I remember I was worried in episode uh, 20 about it being an evolution episode like no the goal of stuff's not over and you're giving me these huge moments making me think that he's going to evolve into a perfect level fortunately he didn't ah um, but I, I didn't think the first time goals showed up we were going to get um tesla jellymon and simba and Garmon's evolutions before uh the goal of stuff is resolved because they can't stand up to him in the champion level uh, adult level but it seems like uh, Golis doesn't seem to be as an antagonistic a force as what we um, assumed initially. Mm. Uh, one more thing. Um, yeah, we, we won't see the. We probably won't know the perfects will appear until we actually watch the episodes because Ghost Game has been very close to the chest. Um, mm. The three evolutions Gamon has weren't spoiled by a magazine, they were spoiled by the vinyl bracelet. Uh, mm. Golis was the first one revealed by a magazine. And he's not even that big part a big part of the show. Mm. It was the first Gamon evolution shown off. There's a silhouette and then we got an image. Alright. Nice. Oh, hold on. I'm just switching right now real quick. Oh. Scratch it. Oh, alright. Oh, SGD, SGD deafened himself. Quickly, while he's while he can't hear us, uh, I don't know. Say something gay about him. 
He has a very effeminate voice. <laughs> if, he, if, he, if he finds out about this, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to move on until I know for sure SGD has finished talking about his Digimon stuff. Because he has quite a lot to say. What is your experience with Digimon, Nick? Uh, so, I'm, uh, obviously there's the first uh, two seasons adventure, mm -hmm. but uh, I also really like uh, the English dub of Tamers. Hmm. Alright, what about you, Not? What do you know about Digimon? I seen I seen Adventure on uh, Jet X when we oh uh, God, during the, the times uh, uh, like during the times where we was like where we could we could get it you know when when the when the when the cable <laughs> company wasn't looking and they just gave it a, gave us for free it's like yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, so. Nice. Yeah, I only know I've only seen the first two episodes of Ghost Game. Though uh, Nick did show me the uh, Digimon Bridge. I welcome the sweet embrace of death. <laughs> it gets me. Uh. Oh man, did you actually do Stefan for quite a bit? <laughs> was that not? Uh, 824 uh, teamed up with a uh, black, with a uh, an antique, um, with an, an like an antique company hmm. to actually make uh, going sword. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> And uh, they made 150 of them mm. to, for, for fans to buy. Nice. Very cool. Alright, SGD is back. Although, oh no, real quick, continue. Although, to, be honest, to be honest, it's like the real money item is the axe. Mm. Mm. Yes, I'm back. Alright. Is there anything else you have to say about Ghost Game? Uh, not really. Not really? Alright then. Then... Oh, but go ahead. Chelsea, what's this about me eating a lot of bananas? SGD is a... Chelsea, SGD is a logo attached to a koala, not a monkey. Uh, no, ko ko koalas are... Koalas are, by all mm, definition, abominations of nature. They look cute, <laughs> but they're but they're abominations who eat nothing but poisonous they're leaf. They're disgusting, like uh, disease-written beasts that eat uh, eucalyptic, eucalyptics. Uh, you know, uh, a plant by definition has that has no protein for any other race other than the koala. So. <laughs> Yes, but if he was a monkey, then maybe he would eat a lot of banana. But because he's a logo attached to a koala, then you should say SGD eats a lot of, I don't know, eucalyptus, however you spell that. <laughs> uh, Chelsea also says me and Ray are watching Digimon Season 4 next Saturday. Nice. Very cool. Alright, so with nothing else to say about Digimon, we can move on now. One now two things from this point forward. Uh, one, I need to use the restroom, and I'm probably also gonna go get food as well. But at the same time, two, that means I can avoid any spoilers about this movie that I want to go watch next week. I'm, I'm not gonna say any spoilers, and it's like oh, might as well just wait for you to come back. Oh, well, no, I guess I'll just I use the... I'll just use the restroom then. I can fill some air. Tangus is gone. Alright. I'll be back. 
you got more card game reveals. You got Renamon and Cubimon. It's they've already done twice now, counting the X booster set for Tamers. So I'm fingers crossed we'll get Sakuyamon Miko mode as the Mega. The Rare Eyes just shut down, so I know I don't have any other means of looking at one besides artwork, so some more nice artwork would be nice. Seems to be pointing out that they haven't done the Miko mode in card game yet, so I'm just like, oh, maybe it's a reference to that time Renamon showed up in Cross Walls. Like, no, it's. They, didn't, they haven't done the Miko mode yet. Sure are great. This is this is not a ploy for me to uh, fill up the dead air with noises in order to keep Chengis stream alive. Oh and my for God! Twitch. Who the hell cares? <laughs> Who the hell can I guess this is like a whiplash, but no. But I think everything we do on this show is a whiplash anyway. Yeah. Uh, it it it's just like like have you ever noticed like whenever have you ever noticed whenever like Family Guy does a uh a uh, this is serious scene, it's always ruined by Peter talking. Oh, yeah. It's like, it, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like they want, they want to, um, it's, it's like, it's like they want, they want to get over, they want to get over, you know, get, get to the point where it's like, oh, this is, this right here, this is serious, this is, like, this is a very serious topic and then you like you have you have like Peter saying something dumb in the background it's like it's like like I know what they're trying to do they're trying to to have their cake and eat it too or it's like yeah well, yeah. are we talking about family guy we can also have <laughs> I don't know I, 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 I heard I, I heard the name Peter 
and my mind just immediately went to Family Guy. You're right. Like you're right. I mean, it's like I, I was just describing. I was just telling Nick. He's like, like all all the all the serious like all the serious like trying emotional things that later fit. Like the later seasons of Family Guy tends to do is always ruined by Peter. Mm. Because it's like, because it's like they they want they want their cake and they want to eat it too by having like these serious like it, uh, heartfelt moments. Mm -hmm. But then they have like the fat guy behind the scenes like making a joke, mm. and, and it gets really annoying. Because Peter Peter feels like he's just inserted into the scene uh, through like through like, literally just feels like he's it edited in the scene. And you, you could take him out and nothing would change. Oh. Mm. That's uh. Uh. Well. I don't like talking about the recent Family Guy, though. Cause it's not funny. I just, I just did that to, 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 you know, to keep keep the dead, the dead air from, you know, to just ah. keep the dead air away. I thought this video was gonna talk more about Digimon cards. So I was like, wow, I'm surprised he's silent now. Well, I was only talking about one reveal today. They did run him on and keep him on again. They did them before in an earlier booth set, so I'm hopeful they'll do the Mika mode. The Kinyamon this time. Ah. Alright. There's then. not all the cross wars cards that would fit with the yellow, so they need a lot of filler. Hmm. Alright. Okay. So now I'm back, and so now we could talk about uh, a movie that not made a bet with me if I would cover the Green Knight. So. Was it? Was well, it bad? No, but it was, <laughs> no, but it was like no. I just, I just no, but like I think like the way you said like you know like uh like uh uh you know I'll, I'll talk if you talk about the Green Knight I'll talk about the Norseman I was like deal. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I just I brought up the question. It's like oh, hey Shang, are you going to cover the Green Knight? Because it'd be perfect if I covered the Norseman. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yes. So, so since Dot is covering the Northman, that means I'll be talking about the Green Knight. Speaking of Northman, Chengiz, have you seen the Northman? No, Nick. I want to though. Go see the Northman. I will. Uh, do it, Chengiz. Uh, I will. God damn it, Nick. Don't be pushy. Have you seen Chengiz? My God, Nick. I swear to God. <laughs> Change it, change it. Before, before I start this off, I need I need to know. I, I need I need to ask you something. I swear, uh, not if you ask me if I've seen this movie. No. 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 I'm not gonna ask you if you've seen the movie. I uh, just want to know. I just want to know, Changes. Uh, why do you spill your beans? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, I, for my topic, I went to go see, I went to go watch, uh, the third, the third film from writer-director, uh, Robert Eggers, uh, aptly titled The Northman, which, it seems like all of his, ti all, it seems like all the movies he, he, he develops has, as the same, uh... The uh, Noun. The Noun. Same, the, yeah. His last movie was The, the Lighthouse, and then the movie before, The The Vivich. The Vivich. If you just call it anything else, I Vivich. <laughs> the Vivich. Learn English, Mr. Eggers. <laughs> those are clearly two Vs. <laughs> like, Nick, that's intentional. After all, it's like he's from New England. Damn New England. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so it's like I, 
it's like uh it's 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 safe to say it's like this was my most anticipated film of the year uh, i have i have been like i have been like excited for this film ever since it was announced back uh back uh when like back before before the pandemic happened so so like that's that's telling you it was that's really telling you how long like, how long it's been uh because of course i i i loved his uh first two like the first two outings that he has done uh the witch and the lighthouse which we did describe earlier it's uh, the vivich not the vivich what are you showing me nick oh you combined uh, the fossilizers yep oh that's neat nice Uh, anyways, so uh, so tell us not what what was your experience watching the Norsemen? Uh, it is like uh, what what is synonym for magical? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's like like this was my high, uh, this was my anticipated movie of the of the year. And I came away not like I came away very far from disappointed. Now, uh, so question asks: Was the Batman dethroned? Oh, I wouldn't say, but it is. It is like it is a neck and neck tender. Ooh. Oh shit! Now I'm now. <laughs> you had my I had my interest in this movie before. Now not. You have my erection. <laughs> so that's the best line you've ever delivered, Nick. <laughs> so, like to to run down the Northmen, uh, it is the based on the story the. The legend, I should say, of uh, the the Icelandic uh, Nordic prince. Uh, well, not Icelandic. I, uh, it's an Icelandic legend, but it's he's not Iceland himself. Icelandic himself. The Nordic prince uh, Elsmer, hmm. uh, uh, who who like most people may like you know average person might not know about the legend. They might know its most its most famous in, the most famous story inspired by the legend, uh, Hamlet. Uh, huh. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, William, William Shakespeare uh, modeled Hamlet of Denmark after uh, after the Elmet, uh tale, you know, uh, from from the. You know, from from the the the, tr- the the revenge tragedy, uh, his his uncle killing his killing his father, the king. Uh-huh. So 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 yeah, that was like like the movie. The movie is about uh, Elsmith's uh, treacherous uncle, John Air. Uh-huh. Uh, killing. Savagely killing his his own father, uh, out of the, uh, out of the doll. The, the the to rec- to claim his his spot on the to claim his uh like his his seat of you know his throne as his own. And, and more or less, the entire story is is a uh, a typical Nordic, you know, very typical Nordic vo- story about revenge. And, and that's where the fun starts. 
<laughs> that sort of fun story. Uh, I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I will kill, kill you, Fiona. 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 It's just so. It was like, yeah, obviously. So we have not seen all of us have not seen the movie yet. Uh, so like, I wouldn't delve right right into spoilers because you know, because it is it is a a movie that just came out this this weekend for uh, American Earth. yeah for Americans like it is because uh, Europe Europe always gets there early those damn Europe's damn Europeans where did they get we the saved our asses in World War II and this is how they betray us shake my head <laughs> 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 like, uh, I will say, like, I will say it is a, it is an unflinching, like, it is a very unflinching story, like, because, because, uh, Robert Eggers, like, from the, from the, you know, from the outset, he, he does not seek to romanticize the, uh, the life of a Viking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it is... It is a, a like it is a life of like constant pain and uh, uh, like pain, a bit dehumanization, uh, a lot of humility, and a lot, a lot of souls getting caved in. Ooh. <laughs> Just uh, like just just like like the the moment like the moment he's taken in uh, like I will say some things, but I will be best you know best to not spoil any scenes. But it's like the moment hmm. when he is a adult and he is taken in uh by this roving clan of this this. This band of like warriors become a proper like berserker. Mm. It is it is a it is a scene that is that is very ritualistic and it's very un. It's like it's very yeah it's like it's very unflinching with, with how it it how it portrays like sort of like the the sort of the hypnotic lengths that a lot of these warriors go to prepare for battle mm. down to the point where it's like, yeah, it's like they believe themselves to be the animals that they of the skins that they wear. Oh. It's like, yeah, it's like, cause, cause that's what, that's what real Vikings did. Real Vikings were not. We're not ex we're not upstanding, excellent people. You mean how to train your dragon lie to me? Those bastards at dreamers, yeah, yeah, I swear. Yes, yeah, sh yeah, Shangus, like there were there were no dragons. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, like life in Scandinavia is so is so cold. <laughs> So cold and dark and and hopeless uh, that heaven for them is literally just a one big dining hall of food. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, it's like, but like, of course, uh, director of the helm himself, uh, Eggers, is a huge like, like, uh. Like historical purist. Oh. <laughs> and Jado has found it's a kindred like, soul. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 because, because it is like it's, it's evident across his other his other three movies that he he loves this he loves this attention to detail when it comes to. When it comes to uh, the, the period in which he sets a lot of his movies, and it's like from the clothing 
to hmm. to the uh, just just like one underrated uh, one underrated uh, mention that Eggers never gets from any of his films is his screenplays because all of the if you have ever sat down uh, sit down and read like the lighthouse it like it, it reads like a Shakespeare play and it's just great hmm <laughs> it's like a lot of his a lot of his dialogue carries this very like very ent- like antique yet a fascinating way of delivery hmm like, he's, like, he's, like, 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 uh, Edgar is, is a, like, like he, he is a lover of language. And it's, it's like, so it's like, so it's like, in all of his films, you just get, like, just great. Hmm. Like, you will just get, like, great, great, like, you'll get, like, great actors, and they're also saying really great dialogue, too. So you just get, like, the double whammy. Whether it be, you know, uh, every time, every time Ralph Einstein, uh speaks in, in the movie, and every time, like every time uh, Robert Pattinson and uh, Willem Dafoe argue with each other in the lighthouse. <laughs> mm. uh, and, like, like. For this movie, it was a very ambitious, you know, it's a very ambitious one, both in scale and, uh, source material. Like, uh, this is the first, this is, uh, relatively the first movie that Edgar's made, Edgar's made on a, with a, uh, bigger, with a bigger budgeted studio. Mm. But, uh, helming, you know, helping him. And it's like he's he's he's, he's uh, working with. And it's like he's yeah uh, he's work, he's working with Regency Pictures, which uh, I now know I now know is twenty percent owned by Disney. So the Northman oh. is a Disney film confirmed. Oh. Uh, so that's great. Yeah. Uh, uh no no Cheng, it's just fantastic because you know. It's like uh, uh-huh. there's all the kitties get to watch the the uh, like, get to watch a, a <laughs> very built angry man cut down people. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, <laughs> so it's like we could we could take out all the, like all the frozen stuff from like Sweden and just add the Northmen. It'd be great. It's very educational. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, 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 so it's like, so it's like, I said, like, I said, like, uh, like, so, so, but it's like, like, for, for Eggers himself, he, he kind of has to move away from, uh, that very familiar idea. The very familiar like landscapes and uh, culture that he's very much familiar with, like mm-hmm. Eggers is Eggers was was born and raised in New England, so a lot of like uh, the first two films specifically have that like have that f- uh, flair to them that it is like they're they're like like. Even even with the second film like being heavily inspired by Maine, there's there's still that flair to it mm. of like uh, New English pe- pedigree, I think is the right word. Pedigree. Uh, pedigree, yeah. Mm. Mm. So, so it's like so it's like yeah, it's like he he's directing a film that set out. out outside of his normal cultures as co- of course he had to uh help uh this uh, yeah he had to be helped throughout this film by 
a uh, Icelandic uh, by by an Icelandic uh, like uh, producer, like music producer who helped co-wrote the the script with him. Mm. Uh, Sean, uh, Sean as a uh, name, like Scandinavian names are hard to say. Uh, uh, who's 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 like uh who, who is very well known for for uh being the you know being like the rec you know the record producer of of Bjork. So it's like obviously Bjork is going to be in the movie. Hmm. Now it's time for America's favorite t- game show, Bobcat or, <laughs> or Bjork. <laughs> All right, Changus. <laughs> you have to decide between whether this this uh, audio cue is a uh, is either a music uh, music from Icelandic, Icelandic, Icelandic uh, Bjork, Bjork or the ranting of former comedian Bobcat. Oh wait, here we go. <laughs> oh, so you don't know. That's gotta be Bobcat. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was Bjork. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, Bjork, Bjork is in a part of the movie. Uh, I'm surprised with. It's like, it's like, it's such a small part. It's like, it's a very significant part, but it's like, it's, it's, it's such a small part. And like, we're, but it's like, yeah, she's in the film. Uh, <laughs> is, and it's like, uh, the... It's really hard to talk about this movie without going to spoilers. Ah. Uh. <laughs> because it's... Like, uh, like, no, no, it's like, it's not, it's not your fault, Pangus. It's just it's like... <laughs> because I just want to start talking about, like, the ama- like the amazing things that happen in the movie. <laughs> we might we might have to do a part two. If if you want, uh, I could do a part two. Uh, like like yeah, I would I would I would like that. So it's like yeah, it's like the. So I'll, uh, so I'll definitely watch. I'll definitely watch this movie by uh, next week. So we could just change. Have you seen change? Have you seen the North Man? Fuck you. <laughs> That doesn't answer my question. I will watch it. Have you seen it yet, though? No, Nick. Go see the North Man. What does what do you think I haven't watched it yet means, Nick? <laughs> Go see the North Man. <laughs> I will. I'll see it Monday. I'll see it after class. Jeez, <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> I'll fucking. I'll even make a fucking note to myself in the stream back room. <laughs> Here, Changus. You know what? I'll I'll push. I'll I said I was I said I was gonna do Gundam X next week. I'll push it to the week after. Changus for next. next Changus for next week. The you North. Can shut the fuck up now, Nick. The Northman spoiler. Or talk. There we go. Northman spoiler yeah, yeah. talk. And then in parentheses, he's. <laughs> In all caps, go watch it Monday after class. Changes. That's right. I'm writing and referring to myself in the third person. There we go. Has third person Changes seen the North Man? If first person Changes hasn't seen it, then neither has third person. <laughs> well, the first person and third person Changes go see the North Man. I will! Can they. Can they tell the second person, Chengus, to do the same thing, too? Yes, second person, <laughs> Chengus, go see the North Man. Fuck you. <laughs> Man, it's okay. So it's like, if we, we, we're gonna have an ASMR, like, of Chang, um, uh, Chengus driving himself crazy by, <laughs> by Nick saying, uh, go see the, go see the North Man in a lighthouse. It's gonna make a lot of you. <laughs> Alright. It's, uh, it's gonna be, uh, like, like just high rating on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll go. I'm slowly giving Jenkins a mental breakdown. I'll it's go, amazing. I'll go watch the fucking movie. 
goodness. <laughs> You're not fond of me, lobster. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Let me tell you this, Nick. If I, if, if for some reason, God knows how, I end up disappointed by this movie, I will hunt you down, and I will, and I will, I don't know, I'll, I'll do something to you. <laughs> I will kill you. It's like Chang is here. You're not gonna be disappointed in this movie because it's awesome. You, you yeah, really are not. That, this movie is fucking spectacular. All right, I'll go. I'll go watch the movie, Nick. I'll go. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a it's a it's a it is really, really the violent, uh, depressing look in Vikings. That, that is just just. Just looks just so beautiful to look at, despite the fact that the entire movie is gray. Uh, the 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 he he doesn't have the same like he doesn't have the same like uh like music like, like composer for this for this film as he did for uh, the Witch and. Uh, the lighthouse, but like the new sound that he gets, that he gets is just like like it, it's still really great though. Uh, everyone's everyone is just just excellent in it, of course. But of course, of course like the direction is going to be great mm -hmm. because you know why wouldn't it be? Uh, the. The 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 uh, it's like the uh, uh yeah, it's like what do you do? He's like yeah, just just go watch Northman. All right, I will. Chang, you're gonna see the Northman. I will. <laughs> I fucking have you seen it yet? I. <laughs> Nick, I'm gonna fucking kick you out of this damn voice chat if you say that again, you bastard. <laughs> I, I can- I can do that. I can fucking disconnect you from the voice chat. You don't know- You know what the fucked up thing is, though? What? I've basically just been parroting what Nat said when he saw the Northman. He goes, Go see- He just said, He just typed it in all caps. Go see the Northman. I and will! Basically, <laughs> I'm basically just repeating that. Alright, I will. Goddamn, both of you, I'll go fucking watch the Northman. It's like- It's like a- I was like, what a- why do I have to share in this volume? Because Nick said you were partially responsible. You're, he's just parroting what you've been saying. <laughs> so I'm not culpable. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. After watching the, uh, the three billboards in, in Epping, Missouri, <laughs> you're culpable. <laughs> <laughs> You're SGD, so you fucking bastard! If you're gonna say it, just say it to my face instead of typing it in the, in the fucking Twitch chat! You have a microphone, just tell me straight up! Oh. You need the reminder, Chengus. God damn it! I'll go fucking watch Help. it! Oh, how long have you been on this show? I love this stream! Chang is slowly going into I'll go fucking watch the Norseman! Chengus' Icelandic mental breakdown. Chengus. <laughs> <laughs> Chengus. Like, Chengus is just gonna be like, like just, just gonna go full Alex Starsgard. Then he's just going to, to. He's going to cave a man's skull in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, if we're done talking about the Norse man, and by done I mean you're done fucking bullying me, I think we can move on now, cry. 
I, I have one more question, though. No, you bastard. You don't get to ask this. You don't get to ask the same question. That's not one more question. I need to know, Chengus. No, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I told you I'll fucking disconnect you from the voice chat box if you do it again. There, I, there's literally a button where I can say disconnect when I click on your name. I will fucking do it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'll go. I'll, I'll go watch. I'll go. I'll, I'll go watch it, and then next week we could do a spoiler talk version of the Norseman. We could just. We could just, uh, we could just. The three of us just gush about the Norseman. Ah. <sighs> Alright. God damn. <laughs> Nod, is there anything else you need to say about this movie? You just say it's like if you haven't seen like if you haven't seen like Robert Eggers other films, go ahead and see them. Because they're they're as much of a treasure as it as this film is. Uh especially the Lighthouse. Like like as much as I love the North Main. I still don't think it's it's replaced the lighthouse in my heart. I think mainly it's because of the memes, but still, <laughs> like, uh, wait, but it's like, like, yeah, it's like, twenty twenty two is is shaping up to be a a really good year, like, in in movies. Oh yeah, yeah. Like three of three of more ones I really want to see just came out on the same day too. Oh uh, yeah, you you were gonna go watch that new uh, that new movie with uh, Sam Rockwell. Yeah. What is this movie? Bad guys? Uh, that doesn't. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, Sam Rockwell. Wait, take just take my money already. You <laughs> <laughs> already. You feel the money already loosening in my wallet. <laughs> it's just, it's just, just uh, yeah. It's like, it's like, uh. God. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> like that was that's released on the same day as the unbelie uh, the uh, the unbelievable weight of immeasurable talent. Oh, that's right. We gotta watch that movie too. I, we really gotta watch that movie. It's Nicolas Cage. Which you know, again, sold. <laughs> and then uh, Cage playing himself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What. <laughs> Hanging out with a drug cartel leader played by Pedro Pascal. <laughs> and then it was and they, were, and they were both released on the same day as the Northman, which uh just it's that that movie just great. And uh Chengis, go see the Northman. I will Okay, we can move on now. God damn I'm gonna lose my fucking mind if we continue with this North <laughs> talk about Northman. Shagus says Icelandic <laughs> mental breakdown. Come on. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Fuck you. Doodle let me go. <laughs> okay. Come uh, on. Doodle let me go. God damn it. Not. Don't encourage Nick. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> All right, we can this talk. This might be one of my favorite fucking streams. Okay, you bastard. <laughs> after all those, after all those gifts I gave you, this is how you treat me back. <laughs> what gifts again? I'm legitimately asking. I don't remember. Your, your fucking microphone cover, some transformers. Oh yeah, I thought you said gifts. Gifts like, like, with a like, T. Uh, yeah, now I, I'm now realizing that. Hey, don't forget, I gave you Kopaka. Yes, that is Oosh. true. Oosh, Jeff. And, and uh, Swole Onua. Okay, to be fair, that is true, yes. 
And uh, I think you still have uh, wingspan and pounce. I do, actually. They're just on the bottom of my shelf. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I have to find a space to display them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't blame you. Jeez, with all the gunpla you've gotten. Do you have more Transformers on gunpla at this point? Uh, I think it's still more Transformers. Don't. Okay, we gotta get. Okay, let's try and replace <laughs> that uh, the most with Bionicle. And then, and then I have a top uh, sh one of my shelves the entire top shelf is just Bionicle and it's already filling up with space it's not my fault that Tuma is such a big fucking chonky boy and we need to get you more I understand Nick I understand Nick. Uh, <laughs> if you manage to surpass Bionicle uh, over Transformers no joke I will uh, stop uh uh, gloating about the fucking uh, white Among Us guy. You're never gonna stop gloating about the white Among Us guy. No, if you actually manage to surpass uh, Transformers with Bionicle, I will. Like, that is. is that that a, will make is me that so happy that. That is a bet. I, I am. That is a legitimate bet. SGD, you're. you're, you're, you're I'm assigning you as archivist. Write this down. So that way. I don't know. I don't know that when when that day comes, Nick can like sign in blood his name saying I forfeit the rights to <laughs> use the white among us joke on you. Well, I don't know about blood because that's gonna hurt, but I definitely will. Uh, at least personally, I can't really uh, say for like Ninjato and not and all that about it. But like, uh, at least I won't do it. I see. All right then. <laughs> okay. No, to be fair, Nick, Bionicle's gonna be even more expensive than Transformers and Gunpla combined. Cause they don't put those in production anymore, Nick. Don't make me- don't make me weep on camera. It's not my fault. It's Lego's fault. I know. But- but we got a whole stream about that you- everyone could go watch. Yeah, it's called Bionicle 101. You could check it out on the... Well, it's, it's on the second. Ch it's on. No, I keep calling. I keep calling it out a habit. The second channel. It's more now just an archive channel, for all the non two cents streams. Okay. Actually, wait. Before I continue, I should might as well put that in the chat. Nightbot, do your work. Nightbot, I inputted a command. Do your work. There you go, Nightbot. Good job. Okay. So. So, Knox said he would talk about the Northman if I would talk about the Green Knight, which is what we're talking about right now. So, the Green Knight it came out last year. Wow, it's only been one year since this movie came out. Damn. And, uh, well, actually, no. Is that technically it's not been an year yet? Because it, until it reaches, when it reaches July, then, yeah, then it will be technically an year since this movie came out. But it's almost been a year since this movie came out. So, so the Green Knight is a movie adaptation of the story of Gawain and the Green Knight. And that is a classic Arthurian uh, tale. And uh, that's kind of all I know about the actual story other than the movie. And the movie is uh well it's, it's, it's exactly what i just said it's an adaptation of gawain and the, and the green knight w featuring uh fe featuring technic well no he he technically is british by nationality but ethnicity as en ethnically it, it is features an italian and no not I, I was gonna say fucking italian no that's still european an indian man portraying a British man who happens to be Gawain and uh, he you know and then if you don't know about Arthurian legends you know Gawain was one of, the, one of the knights of the round table the nephew of King Arthur uh, and the whole point of this movie is uh, it's a it's a it's a story of Gawain testing Gawain's uh, courage and, uh, well, a lot of other stuff that I'll get into deeper. So, so, 
I'll Chelsea put the link to the original story in the chat. Thank you, Chelsea. Uh, so yeah, so that's so that's the Green Knight in like as a general premise. It features there's an Indian man, Dev Patel, as Sir Gawain, and uh, who was a uh, who was a uh, King Arthur? Hold on, I gotta look. Hold on. The Green Knight cast. All right, the Green Knight cast. Okay, so you have Dave Patel, uh, Alicia Vikander as Essel, uh, Joel Edgerton as the Lord. We'll get to him. Sarita Catherine Louise as Mother. We'll get to her. Ah, here we go. So, King Arthur was Sean Harris. I don't know who he is. I'm gonna look him up. Oh, he was the he was the villain in the last in the most recent uh, Mission Impossible movie. Ah, oh. okay. And then uh. Oh, and I I, compl I can't believe I didn't mention this. Uh, what sold me on this movie was uh, the Green Knight himself, portrayed by Ralph Einstein. Our, our um, yeah, our, our man crush himself. Our man <laughs> crush himself. Look, it's not my fault that he has the voice of a god. I I. <laughs> like like there 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 are several actor there are just several people out there that just. Have that voice that you could just listen to them talk all day, and Ralph Einstein is one of them. I uh, just like oh. I I encourage you to look up just it's on YouTube. Just look up on YouTube the Green Knight uh, trailer trailer narration, and it's just a whole trailer narrated by Ralph Einstein, and it's great. He just has a wonderful voice. It's awesome. Also has. Also has a uh, Barry Keegan in the movie, who, uh, and who's now our new Joker. So there's that, I guess, and uh, and you know, and a bunch of other people. Yeah. So, so like, uh, so, so overall, right? The the story is kind of simple, right? Gawain. Well, it's not really that simple. So, so the main story is that uh, Gawain is challenge. Well, not challenge. So, so on Chris on uh, on Christmas morning. No, not Christmas. It was like Christmas, like... Well, it's Christmas. On Christmas, uh, you know, the, the Knights of the Round Table, they're celebrating Christmas and all that. And they are met by this mysterious n man, thing, whatever the hell the Green Knight is. And the Green Knight, it uh, pretty much opens up a challenge to all the knights present there. Basically... <laughs> Oh, no, go ahead. I was, just, I was just about to be like, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, you, hey, you wusses. <laughs> so I challenge you to a game. And it's like, if you, if you, if you're brave enough to come and like chop off my head, come and do it. <laughs> so, so the challenge, so the challenge is, well, the challenge isn't necessarily to chop off his head. The challenge technically is. As basically any any harm you inflict upon him, he will inflict back upon to you in one year's time. Yeah. Like it, it could be a like it could be as simple as just like uh well, chopping off his head or something as simple as just uh, I'm gonna flick your forehead. I flick your forehead. Okay, I gotta flick your forehead back in the ear. Oh, okay. Sorry. Of course, Wayne being young, foolhardy, and, and full of adventure and lust. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing. <laughs> and chops off his head. To be fair, though, the Green Knight was literally asking for it. He's like, he just puts the axe down, just bends his head over. Come on. Come on. Chop it off already. Okay, I will. No, you're going to. No, you're going <laughs> to no, chop it off. Come on. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, no, Chelsea. The 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 character in the thumbnail is the Green Knight. So that that is the 
the Green Knight. And then so, you know, so Gawain, you know, chops off his head. And then the whole movie is just his journey traveling to the Green Chapel up north where he will meet the Green Knight to have his head chopped off. Isn't that fun? It's like it's a it's a story of you know, of meeting with your uh, like like uh, um, you know uh, traveling uh, confronting your faith even though you know like it's going to end possibly horribly. <laughs> yeah. Now, now also I should also have probably mentioned beforehand. Uh, so the Green Knight is an A24 movie. So yes, this is a movie about a man just walking around the wilderness. That is true. There is more to that, obviously. But yes, it is mostly a man walking around the wilderness. And if that doesn't... It's a beautiful movie about a man walking around the wilderness. It is. I don't think my dad. I don't think my dad appreciated it though. So, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I sh I try showing my chat. I tried showing my father the Green Knight last night, and uh, I don't. I don't think he liked it. Uh, he did. He didn't. I, I didn't ask him what his what his opinion. I just saw like on his face. His, it was like that face. Like just, what did I just watch? So I was like, ah. Oh. I don't. I don't think you liked it, so I, I ain't gonna question you. Which you know that's that's a shame because I thoroughly enjoyed this beautiful movie about a man walking around the wilderness. I enjoyed it uh, and all of its you know deep meanings and stuff. But hey, you know it's not for everyone. So, oh well. Uh, but yeah. So like that's. I just pretty much explained the entire movie there, but there's obviously more to the movie, right? So like the, so like the movie, so like the story of the Green Knight is, you know, it's it's about, you know, meeting your fate essentially, and preparing for it. You don't know what it's gonna be, or even if you do, you gotta, you you have to sort of you know learn to accept it, and that's kind of that's kind of what. Uh, the whole, you know, the whole thing with Gawain goes going on in this movie, which okay, is is it pronounced Gawain? Because everyone in the movie pronounces his name Garwin. Gawain, like Gawain, is a sort of like old timey way of pronouncing it. It's like it's they're they're pronouncing it that way because you know that's how they pronounced it back then. Like it's go. Like, you know, nowadays we kind of pronounce it as Gawain. Hmm. But, uh, so... So... So, like, uh... Just, now, there's also a lot of... Uh, emphasis... There's also this... This movie... There's a lot of emphasis on, uh... On time. Because, you know, time is an important factor in, in this story. Because, you know, again, you know, it's... It's about meeting your... I guess, inevitable fate. So time is a very important element in this movie to to the point that there 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 is literally a point in this movie where uh, spoilers for an almost year old movie uh, there's a point in this movie where uh, after a after a I'm just gonna say after Joker and his band of uh, merry goons uh, you know pretty much uh, sacked uh, Gawain of his property and stuff uh, Gawain's just lying tied up on the on the forest floor and there's just this uh there's just this shot where just the camera just sort of pans away from him very slowly and very it, and then it turns right back around but before it turns right back around mm -hmm. you see on um, it's it finally well well it's it's like a it's what's the what's the term like it's a, it turns into, it turns like a half, like 180 degrees. So like it starts at Gawain and then goes around 180 and then back at Gawain, and then it goes the other way. And so the first way, the first 180, it just slowly pans, just slowly, and then it just cuts to Gawain's corpse as a skeleton. Boom, a skeleton. 
Gawain's dead. Movie's over, guys. Let's go. <laughs> I, you know, I always interpret, I always inter kind of interpret that scene. Like, I never interpret it as the idea of time. I always kind of interpret it as sort of like Gawain's fear. Oh. Uh, personify. Hmm. Where it's like we, where it's like uh, he, he, his, his fear, ult, his fear ultimately of the driving. You know, it's like he fears death, which which is an uh, irony above all because he is the the entire story is about him me coming you know coming to terms and meeting this death. Mm -hmm. And it's like that, that's how I just like it, I guess that's like how I interpret like so it became a uh, uh, um became a, like a what's the right word like a uh, a visual metaphor for oh. his you know, for his like his 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 fear that he's just going to be trapped there and like die before he completes his quest hmm. well I, I I could see it that way I think it also has I think it also has to do with time you know, like how like because uh, Cause again, like if if that is the ultimate message, you know, like why why did you know why choose to you know have such a slow pan, such like a pain almost painstakingly slow pan to the a corpse. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> but then obviously, you know, the, the, this is but obviously this uh, this scene is like what well, like I want to say. I, well, it's it's close to the halfway point of the movie, so you know, obviously Gawain's not actually dead yet. Well, whether whether he died. So, sp spoiler alert for the ending: whether he died or not is up to interpretation. You sh now the the original Arthurian tale is that Gawain did not die. You know, it's more like, uh, okay, you learned your lesson. Okay, you could go now. I'm free. Yeah, go. You go off. Go. Yeah, as I all, also I turned out I'm the lord I'm the lord of the manor. Like uh, uh I'm glad you didn't bang my wife, dude. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. See ya. Like, it's like It's uh, like my uh, my nephew Gwen, you have come back. <laughs> like tell us your story. Well, you see, uncle, I learned that uh people who come to our door are usually very frightening people who might get us killed. <laughs> that is great shit. That's a great story. Uh, going, hey, he's like, hey, what, what's that sack you're wearing? I'm like, it's, it's something I got on my journey. Let's all wear sashes. Why? Why not? <laughs> and that's how, like, that's that's what led to the downfall of the Lancel of Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, congratulations, going. It's your fault that uh, the Camelot fell. I hope you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but like that that's 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 how the original uh you know Arthurian tale like pretty much ended. Uh the movie leaves it just as an open just as an open ending really. And so so there is that. So so to answer your Chelsea in the movie, did he die? Eh But if the Ar oh, if the original Arsarian tale is to be you know is to go by then most likely yeah, and the Green Knight just let him go. Now what? Are, now I don't think the Green Knight is the Lord in this movie though, because uh, I don't I don't see the Lord becoming whatever the hell the Green Knight is. <laughs> yeah, it's like like it could have been interesting if that was like an original intention, but I kind of kind of like that how he isn't. Like how he isn't just revealed to be the Lord, mm -hmm. like because it has changed the idea of the story where uh, Gwen's like Gwen fending off temptation is is not like it's not an act that was seen other than him. Mm -hmm. so it was an act that meant something something to him the most. Mm -hmm. And that's what, like, like I think I think its echo is still still felt even in the ending. Mm. It was like he, 
like cuz cuz one of the last things he does when 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 he uh, like he finally when he finally uh braves himself up for the for the blow is that he you know, he obviously he takes off the sash right and the, and the sash is important because uh well it's it's, it's many things but most of all uh, the sash is uh is, is literally an enchanted sash by his uh, his his witch of a mother, uh, Morgan Le Fay, uh, King Arthur's sister. Imagine that, King Arthur, you're uh, you're the king of Camelot, and your sister's just somewhere being a witch. <laughs> but uh, uh, but like uh, so Morgan Le Fay literally uh, uh, bewitches a sash to essentially protect Gawain. She tells Gawain, as long as you wear that sash, no harm will come to you. And so, and so, you know, essentially, if Gawain kept that sash on, on then, uh, at the very end, then, you know, even if the Green Knight tried to chop his head off, nothing would happen, because, you know, he'd still be alive. But then he wouldn't, he wouldn't have learned, you know, whatever, his lesson, you know, he wouldn't have come to terms with, you know, with death. So he takes it off, and then you know, and then, and then you know, and then Ralph finds and you know, well done, my brave knight. Ow! Off with your head! Off with your head! I love his voice. Uh, it's so great. <laughs> yeah, uh, and and also like I, I also think time is. I also think. The, like time is a big thing because again like uh so so at the very end uh so i i i have i like i like to i like it's not really two endings but i like to call it two endings where the first the first quote-unquote ending is uh going chickens out like he's he's finally there at the green chapel he's ready to get his head chopped off and then at the last second he chickens out. Just no, I uh, I don't want this. Uh, f- fuck this shit. I'm out. And then he and then he just goes back to Camelot and lives out his life. It's not a very happy he, life. He gets uh he like he gets crowned by by a by a sickly Arthur. He he assumes the throne and it's like it's a. It's a life filled with uh, unhappiness and constant conflict, and, then, and uh, it, it re- results the, in the death of his, his of his firstborn, and ultimately results in, in well his own death, and then uh, but it, but then it turns out uh, oh it was like uh, it was it was like. Uh, it's like like I was saying like so maybe like a vision, a what if. yeah like a what if. But I always felt like it's it's kind of like a vision Gawain had. Yeah. So like after seeing that vision of Gawain, you know, like he finally realized like what whether I die then or whether I die now doesn't matter. Death is death. Yeah. I I think I think. It- I think like what you bring up, Genghis, like uh, during the, the scene with the skeleton, mm-hmm. uh, like also applies to that idea where it's like, yeah, it's like maybe the thing that Wayne fears the most is something that is long and drawn out, and, and that it's filled with like constant sorrow. Mm-hmm. 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 Was like you know, but like at the at the end of the day, death is death is inevitable. Whether he dies by the hands of Green Knight, just just like that, because his head shot off, or you know, live a long but you know, essentially s- miserable life, he's still gonna die. Death is death, and you know, he's, and Gawain comes to terms with that. There's also the there's, there's all the movies also kind of has this weird thing with the uh, like uh, 
Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure like some of the stuff seen in the movie is just Gawain hallucinating on those damn shrooms he ate. Like, oh my god, Gawain, of course you're gonna- Of course you're gonna fucking see giants after eating those shrooms. <laughs> uh... But I don't- And then- And there's, there's like, uh, there's also- What is it like? There's, there's like symbolism a lot littered throughout the movie. Like, uh... Like there's, there's the movie places a lot of emphasis on the fox. I I th I think the fox is supposed to like be like Gawain himself. It's it's a metaphor for Gawain himself, and it's also just just like a general metaphor for a spirit guide because mm. uh, Japanese mythology does this very same thing where. Foxes are meant to be very trustworthy creatures who lead uh, wanderers to to uh, to good for you know a uh, good fortune or at the very least uh, a path the the correct path mm. that they should you know, that they should be let down. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's like there's 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 a lot to do with the fox and and also like the 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 three like what is it, like they're they're like three they're, I call them like three challenges like on his journey right so like there's there's running into Joker and his goons and getting robbed by them and then there's also uh also uh picking up the dead girl's Link. skull from the from the the body of water lake lake. Yeah, like I would say, I would say it's like sort of a lake, kind of. Kind of, and then there's uh, and then you know, and there's there's the Lord and uh, and his you know, and his lovely his lovely family with with the wife who tries to uh, seduce uh, Gawain from you know not going on with his mission. You know, hey, stay here, and you know, and we could you know, well, we could have a fun time, and then uh, and then there there's there. there Okay, so I, I might I might as well bring this up. There is that weird part where there's it's it's a cum shot. That's what it is. There's there's no ifs or buts about it. I mean, that's what it is. It's all over the sash. And it's like and I was like that is yeah. okay. I that's a thing. And it's it's not an A24 film unless it makes you really deeply morbidly uncomfortable. Oh, that made me uncomfortable. Just the, the, the whole scene of of look, look let's be honest. Gawain was pretty much having it, it's, it's what is it like it's, it's he's like fighting for the sash but at the same time having like like what like like hate sex? I I I, I, I don't know what happened in that it, movie. It's 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 like he's fighting over he's like he's fighting over the sash but he's like he's all it's also represents like a a morale like his 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 growing like um uh resistance and not wanting to you know sleep with this lady under the uh you know behind the lord's back uh -huh. because you know that's that's not what a knight would do because i'm, right. I'm a good knight just like my uncle tell me. Right. And then I don't know. And then there's 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 there's, there's, the, there's, there's the cum shot. I it's 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 there, and it made me uncomfortable. I was like, okay, that's just straight up a cum shot. Okay. Never want to see that again. Too late. I saw that again. I just realized I showed my dad. A movie where a guy cum shots. <laughs> you know what? On second dot, I now understand why he didn't like the movie. <laughs> I, w I wouldn't blame him after that. That's a. Uh, uh. What the? I have, this, I have this image in my head now of like that scene going on and the the like. It's it's also inter interlooped with the uh, the moment from the crowd uh, from the the talent show 
episode of Spongebob? Dude, what the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> It's like, it's like, it's like in hindsight, I'm just like realizing, I just showed my dad a movie where a guy cum shots. I, I see now why he didn't like it. And, oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> here, here I was thinking, uh, is this, cause, cause it's like, it's like, it's mostly just a movie about a guy just walking around the wilderness and then, oh wait, no, there was that one part. That was, that was, that was the thing. Oh uh, yeah. That was the thing. I mean, ultimately, Gawain didn't do it with the with the wife behind the Lord's back. So there is that. He at the end he, he kept his knightlyhood. It was uncomfortable. It's like this. Uh... And now I don't know if I should tell Ninjala to watch this movie or not. He's probably gonna get turned off by that scene. Like, to be honest, it's like, it's, it's, it's a very graphic scene, but it's not something that's very, like, vulgar. Like, it's like, you're not going to see, like, no, you're like, not going like, to like, see, you, you, like, you don't, you don't, like, you don't, like, actually see, like, the actual, like, you know, like, uh, you know, penis. You don't, you don't actually see it. Or anything like that, but it's still it's, just, okay, that was the thing. It was, so it's, it's it's all it's okay. all based on interpretation like it, right. it is like like it's a visual interpretation where it's like it's it's obvious what it's meant to be but it's like it's uh you know it's it's i think it's i think it's like uh-huh no go ahead Like, hello? Hello? We hear you. We hear you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I, I would say, like, the, like, like, I guess, like, an odd way to put it is, like, it's very tastefully done. Hmm. Where, where it's, it's a very, like, very, like, shocking and, uh, uncomfortable moment. But, it, it's 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 very like it, it gets done very quick because because it's like right after that like uh Gawain is already putting on his clothes and getting ready to sleep mm -hmm. it, like because i think i think it just sort of like represents the 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 uncomfortable i think overall it just represents the uncomfortableness of of, like, yeah, of the encounter in general, and just, just, like, of how much, like, Gawain wants, wants to keep his, his, uh, wants to keep his honor and his innocence. Mm -hmm. And it, it was almost taken away from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, Chelsea, I don't think that's, that was a red herring. Chelsea, what's with you and red herrings all of a sudden? Chelsea, who, who taught you about symbolism? Because <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's like your heart's in the right place, but it's like you... you I, I don't think you quite know what a... What, what the... <laughs> it's like... It's like Chelsea. This is a red herring. <sighs> no, but your heart's in the right place, so I guess that counts for something. <laughs> it's 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 literally just. Who? How do we tell her? <laughs> uh. But that. But overall, like uh, that that was just one scene in the entire movie and you know it's, it's one very uncomfortable scene but don't worry it, it's it's just one scene and it goes by quickly and then uh, af after that it immediately cuts to you know uh going going to uh the green chapel and then uh 
you get your quote unquote first ending where he chickens out. And then, you know, and then the movie. And then after, you know, you see his vision of, you know, chickening out, then, you know, he realizes, you know, oh, hey, death is death. Is death. I might as well die now. <laughs> that's that's not actually what he was thinking, but you know, like that's pretty much again. You know, it's like, eh, that's his death. Uh, if I die here or die, then it doesn't matter. It's like if if I die, I think I think it's like just like oh, if I die here, I still keep the honor I have. Yeah. Mm. So, like, because because it's like yeah, like in this in this future, he's a he is a uh. He is a a besmirched king. He has like he he killed his firstborn to to satisfy his 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 need for more land, and all of his citizens hate him. And it's like, wait, would you would you die like that? It's like no. It it's better to to die being known as a as a brave and honorable knight. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, uh, the, the, what's her name? Uh, the, the dead girl in the lake, uh, uh, Winifred, uh, Winifred, played by the girl from, uh, <laughs> from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That was, that was my immediate thought in theaters when watching the movie, like, isn't that the girl from, the terrorist girl from Falcon and the Winter Soldier? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a land. I'm gonna create a, a world where it was just like how it was before, uh, after Thanos snapped everything into half of you know the population. Girl, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Some, something about immigration or something. Okay, but what does this have to do with the world after Thanos snapped half the population? I don't know. Don't watch Falcon and Winter Soldier. Watch The Green Knight instead. She was actually alright in this movie. Uh, which, which again, uh, it tells you. Again, it's not, it's not, it's not the actor's fault. Most of the time, it's the material they're given. Like, uh, you, like again, just, just, you just compare the performance in uh, Star Wars and Dune for Oscar Isaac, and you realize, wow, the material he was given just absolutely does not work but dune mmm dune have mm. i talked about dune already on two cents i feel like i have i feel like we haven't talked about dune enough mm, fair enough uh, chingus remember remember the thumbnail i made for you ah uh, yes then we did we did talk about dune that remains one of my favorite thumbnails i know <laughs> bold of you to imply that you know that enough talking about Dune can be done mm, fair enough that's <laughs> true yes just be you know what SGD just because of that before I go to bed I might watch Dune for I don't know how many times this has been now I lost count how many times I've seen Dune I was actually, I was actually like debating my with myself it's like like tonight, should I watch like Dune or The Lighthouse? Because <laughs> two, two sounds really like both of them sounds really great, but it's like which would pick? Yeah. The uh, story will be closing in five, five minutes. minutes. <laughs> 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 uh, I I don't really know what else to say about the Green Knight, at least as of right now. Maybe maybe I'll. In hindsight, I'll come up with more stuff to say about it. But like other, like overall, like I, it, it, it's besides that one uncomfortable scene. Like it's it's a it's a movie. It's that you know what? I'll say it. I'll say I think it's cinema. I say it's cinema. And yes, cinema, cinema. is a movie about. This is a cinema movie about a man walking through the wilderness most of the time. But it's a beautifully shot movie about a man walking through the wilderness most of the time. And I also, will gladly. Yeah. 
You can never go wrong with Ralph Einstein. Oh, that is true. Ralph Einstein, the voice <laughs> of a god. It's like, man, it's like we, need, like, we need him as Unicron. I know. Why hasn't no one thought of that yet? He has the perfect voice for Unicron. Also, oh, it's like it's like to be honest, it's it's really hard to hear hear the voice like roboticized. Well, like, don't you don't, even don't need roboticize, roboticize it. They don't even roboticize the voices half the time with Transformers. I just just half his natural booming voice. Welcome, Megatron. Megatron. <laughs> it's like yes, yes, uh, Unicron. <laughs> I wish to make a deal. Anything, my lord. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> so I will do anything for that voice. <laughs> it just, I don't know. Uh, was I'm, I'm just gonna say for the sake of the joke, Skywarp is the one who becomes uh, uh, a Cyclones. Megatron, really? You're just gonna make a deal with that easily? Are you kidding me, Skywarp? You know, look, listen to that sultry voice. I would listen to anything Unicron tells me. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, yeah. I recommend the Green Knight. Go watch it. It's uh, well, it's no longer in cinema. Uh, hold on. Um, Green Knight. I know, cause I know I, I like rented it for like I don't know, like four bucks on Amazon Prime. Uh, Green Knight um, streaming. Like I think all the A twenty four films are like free on Amazon. Oh. Uh, so, so it's like because they they worked out a deal uh, with Prime. Oh no, like, yeah. I I didn't rent it. I had to I had to buy the movie. Well, you know what? I'll buy. I, it's worth buying that movie. I say it's worth it. It was like, yeah. uh, yeah. Like, uh, I'm looking at all the stuff. Like, uh, you either have to buy it or you have to have some premium subscription. So there is that. I don't know how much is how much is Blu-ray. Is it on Blu-ray? It should be on Blu-ray. Yeah, it's on Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, I have the Blu-ray. Oh, you do. Nice. Uh Oh, wow, you could actually stream it for free with a free Amazon Prime membership. Oh. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay then. Uh Oh, here we go. Uh I found an Amazon link for uh you could f for 4K 20 bucks for Blu-ray 13 bucks. Of course, you know, minus shipping and tax and all that. So, uh, I guess I could drop this link in the chat. There we go. You could get a physical copy of the Green Knight if you want. Oh, and then what's recommend- <laughs> It's funny, because what's rec- with the, One of the recommended movies, they said, uh, you know, uh, if, if you're checking out, uh, the Green Knight, also check out The Lighthouse, The Vivitch, and Dune. Amazon's got good taste. Oh, wait, no, there's one Spider-Man No Way Home. Which, I mean, you know, it's not a bad movie, but, you know, it, it's you're, you're comparing Spider-Man to the lighthouse. It's like... Well, to be fair, Willem Dafoe. Ah, that is true. <laughs> Peter, you've, you're fond of me, lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess... So I, I got nothing else to say about the Green Knight. So to end off, so to end off the night, ah, rhymes, night, night. Uh, to end off the night, uh, we could finally come back full circle. We started off talking about a Blue Sky movie, and now we could talk about Blue Sky Studios itself. You see, you see, ladies and gentlemen, that's that's what uh, George Lucas would call. Sir, uh, uh, ring cinema. <laughs> See, it's, it's like a poet thing, it rhymes. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, so Nick, yeah. you want to talk about Blue Sky Studios? Yeah, I uh, cause uh, the thing about Blue Sky is that it's a, uh, it's I like to call it the little animation studio that could have. Hmm. And uh, man, it actually bums me out that I had to use the past tense word. Uh, yeah, so, it was because uh, because Blue Skies was part of uh, 20th emerging. century. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll get to that. Uh, so I think one of the things I should talk about is like uh, their first film. And that was Ice Age. Everyone loves Ice Age. Yeah, the, the I, Ice Age was a, is a surprisingly good movie. Uh, mm-hmm. And... <laughs> no thanks. I choose life. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it wrong that I can now only hear that as Rat Trap? Not, <laughs> not Sid? <laughs> Rat trap, help out Cheetor! No thanks! I choose life! <laughs> it's the first one! <laughs> I told you, Ryan! It's the first one of the season! <laughs> uh, so, Ice Age is about uh, essentially a, bu- a bunch of uh, pre- almost prehistoric an- uh, animals uh, basically trying to help. Uh, reunite this one kid back with his uh, early human uh, like tribe mm-hmm. and uh, it's essentially just like a road trip but set in, set during the ice age <laughs> also meanwhile there's a squirrel that keeps trying to get a nut and ooh <laughs> that poor squirrel oh that poor squirrel Hey, remember in Ice Age 2 when that squirrel almost caused the entire <laughs> valley to be flooded? We'll get to that. <laughs> uh, so, Ice Age overall was just like a, a pretty good first outing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, they got to my personal, f- and then the, their next movie is probably my personal favorite of the studio, and that's Robots. But uh, I already covered that, so basically you guys could uh, go watch that previous uh, one to see how I felt. It's it's a movie about Obi Wan Kenobi trying to fight a job with the help of Mel Brooks and his homeless no, uh, gang. No, they're, try- they're trying to find uh, Mel Brooks with the help of homeless people. Oh, that's right. <laughs> With, with Patch Adams. <laughs> that's that's right. Wait. Wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Real quick. Let me. Let me. Let me fix myself. Ah, I got. I got wrong. Hold on, okay. It's. It's a movie about Obi Wan Kenobi trying to find a Mel Brooks so he could get a job with the help of Robin Williams and his homeless gang. So you got Patch Adams. Uh. Uh. The main character from the Drew Carey show, <laughs> uh, the uh, the big guy who's played by uh, 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 so you might not know him, but I I surprisingly found out a bunch of roles that he's in, uh, a, a mute, and the one girl from the Amanda show. <laughs> Sounds uh, like a win. <laughs> <laughs> But I will will say is like if there if there are like two movies, they like 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 if I had if I had a nickel every time there's a movie movie where the that endeared me to the fact that uh, Robin Williams plays plays a vagrant, I have two nickels, <laughs> which isn't a lot, but it's, but it's weird that it happened, happened twice. twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. After that, their next movie is Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. Um, 
So, uh, there's a step down between Ice Age and Ice Age 2, but I'd still say the second one's pretty good. I I remember at, at least, I remember sorely enjoying Ice Age 2. I don't know, maybe if I go back and watch it now, it might change. Uh, it is, however, a start of a trend. A very dark trend. You might not know it yet. Or maybe you do, considering what uh, what uh, what this uh, what the series is, what the uh, movies it is. But uh, that well, we'll get to that. Uh, there uh, after that was uh, Doctor Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. Oh, that's right. I remember watching that in class for my English class, and back in like high school. Because the teacher was too, because huh. the because the teacher was literally, literally she straight up said I'm too lazy to teach that day, so she's gonna put on Horton. <laughs> Here's a who from Blue Sky Studio. Yeah. Is it sad that like I I mistakenly believe like that the Horton here is a move a uh, who movie was made by Illuminations? I don't blame you because they're ne the next uh, the next. Uh animated uh, Dr. Seuss adaptation was by Illumination. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so because, I'd uh, say that's kind of a, another uh, Chelsea, down. I think you're imagining the Lorax. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. We finally have dinosaurs in the Ice Age movies, which, uh, you know, show being extinct. Long before the Ice Age. Also, uh, I think you can finally understand the trend going on here. Was well, wasn't it like it was like dinosaurs, but the way to explain it was it was also Ice Age, but Journey to the Center of the Earth or something like that. It, it, it was it was uh, uh, Ice Age showed us Hollow Earth. Forgot, uh, the MonsterVerse did it. I'm not okay with that fact, man. I'm not okay with that fact. Also, uh, that was the also. Last uh, uh, are, are we going to address the fact that uh, uh -huh. uh, Sid literally abducted a bunch of children and raised it as his own? <laughs> <laughs> and basically stuck home them <laughs> and the mom. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> now, okay, now, now, listen, Nick. I've only seen Ice Age 3 once, and it was in theaters when I was a kid. I don't know when I was was I a kid or a teenager. I don't know when I was when I was stupid before I turned 18. 18 was literally the age where I realized, wow, I was stupid for all my life. <laughs> <laughs> when when I stopped when I stopped being stupid, I only uh, that was the only time I saw Ice Age 3. I was in theaters. After that, I never watched another Ice Age movie again. <laughs> uh so mm -hmm. might as well might Where as well pull I? uh you were gonna pull the band-aid off when you were mentioning all the ice age stuff yeah there's a there's a trend that i'm pretty sure everyone noticed uh ice age uh at this point, uh, th these animals should have gone fucking extinct. Alright. How many Ice Age movies are there? Uh, so far we have three accounted for, but, uh... But so, in uh, total. Hold on, hold on, we'll, we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, also, they had a, uh... They had a, like, oddly enough, a fucking, uh... A fucking Christmas special for Ice Age between during this time as well. Huh. Santa exists. <laughs> Santa exists in the Ice Age. Yeah, not, not only that, he's not even like we're uh, full on caveman clothing. No, it's just Santa in the <laughs> North Pole. It all lo looks the way it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, like, I might sound like a hypocrite for saying this, but it's like, uh, like I, I will accept like Barney and Fred, you know, uh, 
uh, celebrating Christmas. I'm not going to celebrate uh, fucking like prehistoric creatures celebrating Christmas. <laughs> uh, uh, so where was I? Uh, my uh, edges. Let me scratch. Scratch. You scratch. were not. We're now past okay. Ice Age 3. Uh, so also, I, I, I forgot to mention, there's a... I feel like Diego peaked with the first movie. To, well, to be fair, all of them peaked with the first movie, but uh, Diego especially, because uh, it felt like after the first movie, they had no idea what to do with him. Because in the second one, uh, he, he had to deal with uh, being afraid of water. In this one, he has to deal with being old. Uh, and... Uh, 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 considered uh, leaving uh, although you, you, you knew he was going to stay because this is Ice Age <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't do anything with him for the Christmas special <laughs> also Manny was on the naughty list for a brief moment hell he created the naughty list so <laughs> he created I the naughty list a woolly mammoth created an eye list. Let's just let's just sink that in for a moment. I uh, see. Okay. Okay, so and kind of a downward slope uh, with uh, with Blue Sky, mm -hmm. but then we gotta go back up with uh, their next film, Rio. Yeah. Uh, Andy Samberg. Uh, not Andy. Andy Samberg, uh, what's his name? Jesse Eisenberg needs to get laid. <laughs> That's right. It was Jesse it was, Eisenberg. Funny enough, it was this movie and uh, Alpha and Omega of all things, uh, that uh, caused Pixar to cancel their idea of a movie called Newt, which is basically uh, these newts need to get laid in order to repopulate the species. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't want to be. Like, I was like, we don't want to be, be associated with the fucking furry. Cancel this shit. <laughs> uh, 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 so, Rio was actually pretty good. Yeah. I, I did. Uh, also, there's a there's that one little clip that happens uh, with a beach ball that bounces on a certain object that I'm pretty sure uh, people took uh, that from uh, GIF of and just repeated it over and over again and uh, thank them and I thank them for that. <laughs> you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you're too obviously too young to watch this. What? <laughs> Uh, and then their next movie. Here we go. Ice Age Continental Drift. That's four right now. We got four. We're over a trilogy. There's more than a trilogy at this point. There's four of Ice Age movies. We, 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 got, we, we, we went to a full blown tetralogy right here. There, also, there are fucking oh, four of them. Also, I forgot about uh, the fucking female squirrel back in Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Uh, oh, that's right. Who uh, Scrat got fed up with uh, after uh, dating her and decided to uh, and uh, cheated on her with the fucking acorn. Also, he still never got that acorn. He's Man, I, I feel bad for this dude because all the horrible shit happens to him. Well, well, I, actually, actually, Nick. We'll get to that. We'll get to it. Okay. I, 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 I have a plan for this, okay. Genghis. All right. Uh. So, uh, <laughs> we had a little bit of it up, and now we're going back down. <laughs> With Ice Age Continental Drift. There also, Diego gets a girlfriend in this for some reason. Really? Yeah. I like Shea Frills' uh, uh, commentary where it's like, uh, uh, Diego gets obligatory female love interest, number 52. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, they don't have really have any other chemistry other than their saber-toothed tigers, or cats, or chameleon or whatever you call them. 
Oh, that's it. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. How, however, we do have Peter Dinklage as a fucking gorilla or something. I don't know what what the hell uh, Captain Gut was. I'm honestly surprised I remember that name. You wait. You watched the Force one? Yeah. Okay. I didn't even know that was a gorilla. <laughs> I. I, wait, I, wait, 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 just... wait. Are we wait, are we are we still in the fucking Ice Age? Yeah, we're still on the fourth Ice Age movie. No, but like like the movie, is it still in the actual fucking Ice Age? I don't know. So a uh, Pangea, Pangea finally split open. So I don't know if that's still during the Ice Age or not. Okay. Also, it's all Scrat's fault, by the way. Ba basically, any event in these movies you do the squirrel. <laughs> it's all Scrat's fault. Yeah. He never gets that nut, by the way. Also, I, I think it was... I can't remember if it was this one or the... Oh, yeah. It was the second one where Scrat fucking died and what? finally got to Acorn Heaven. <laughs> but Sid revived him <laughs> and he tried to kill Sid for it <laughs> oh okay I, I see I, I think it was the, and I think it was the fourth one where he, uh, where he was part of Scratlantis Scratlantis yeah yeah you can tell these movies uh they're not really good. Okay, so Pangea started to break apart around 200 million years ago. Uh, the Ice Age began about 2.4 million years ago. Well, where did it end? So that... Where, uh, where? So the Pangea split way before the Ice Age. Ah. Uh, what the fuck is this timeline? <laughs> <laughs> also, also, they completely forgot about the humans. Oh yeah, they completely forgot about <laughs> the, the human. The, the pro the proto humans are the first one. Shit, it, it, you know, when you get to the fourth movie, you kind of forget that the first Ice Age is actually pretty damn good because that fr this franchise is oversaturated with you know Ice yeah. Age. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Anyone, uh, anyone remember the first, that scene in Ice Age where it's completely wordless, but uh, they find this cave painting uh, oh, that yeah. shows... Uh, uh, a, the the like, extinction of uh, the mammoths. Hunting, yeah, hunt, the humans hunting mammoths. And uh, Manny just looks on it like uh, just just completely broken because he, they, it, it's showing directly that it, how his family was killed. And, and, he, and he sees like, and, and then he sees this uh, like the, the human child like uh, try to comfort him. It's it, it, God damn! The, the, I forgot how good Ice Age used to be, man. Okay. Anyway, uh. Also, I think there was also an uh, <laughs> hear me out, guys, an Easter special for Ice Age. Anyone know the, notice the problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So are are you are you telling me that there was a Jesus before <laughs> Jesus who died for the Ice Age? <laughs> I assume it's the fucking Easter Bunny, but god damn it, where the hell is Easter? Where else is Easter going to come from? Say <laughs> so, um, Oh man, Jesus died before he was even born. What a blast! <laughs> Christian, Christian. <laughs> what the fuck is this series? Remember, if remember, if you're Christian, the Catholic Church took out a bunch of books out of the original Bible. They didn't tell you about the time Jesus was actually in the Ice Age. It was probably in one of, uh, of Joseph Joseph Smith's scriptures. Ah, fair <laughs> enough. Tell <laughs> <laughs> his followers. <laughs> If I Age kept going, they would have done time travel, and then that leads to a series of events that results in someone time traveling from the future, sending all the holidays back to the past. Yeah. 
Well, once you introduce time travel, you're fucking dead. <laughs> As in the franchise is fucking dead. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, uh, their next movie, Epic. Honestly, honestly, it's still on the downward slope. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I know I didn't really like Epic. I never watched Epic. You're not missing much. I confuse, I confuse Epic with Strange Magic. I think they were released during the same year. You know what the fucked up thing is? At time, I, there are scenes in Epic that I definitely am confusing with Strange Magic. <laughs> what is? Okay, I'm looking at, I'm looking up Epic right now. Cause I don't remember this movie. I remember the slug voice by Aziz and Zari. I do, unfortunately. I'm not. I'm not okay with it. Cause he fucking annoyed the crap out of that movie. Wait, so are they? Are they, not, Are these people like midgets or fairies? Uh, it, uh, tiny people. Yes. Also, Beyonce was like their plant queen goddess thing. Uh, who uh. Who's basically who dies in the first act? <laughs> okay. And, and like there's this, and like there's a Colin like a scene. Farrell. Colin Farrell. Now I was talking to my wife Dixie the other day. She knew was a very good actor. And said, "I agree with that." I'm not calling him. I was just saying that. Has Colin Farrell, Josh Hutcherson, Amanda Seyfried, Christopher Waltz? Yeah. Oh, they got that one guy from Parson Recreation. Yeah, Aziz and Zari. Which, I, I like him. I hated him in this. Pitbull. Uh, also, uh, back to... Okay, so, like, they were fighting over the seed, like, the, the two factions, the good plants and the evil plants. I know they're not all plants, but I, I, honestly, I don't give a crap about <laughs> Epic enough to, to correct myself. Uh... Wait, is Colin so, Farrell the main lead in this movie? I don't remember. Uh, well, the main lead is this, uh, who, uh, who's a, wo who's a, uh, who's a, uh, who's a teenage girl. Chengiz, this is just Fern Gully, but with extra steps. <laughs> <laughs> it just made the discovery that this is just Fern Gully, but with extra this steps. It's just Fern Gully, but extra steps. <laughs> Like, okay, so it's like a, it's a teenage girl who comes to visit her father, like, to live with her father, uh, but, like, immediately, like, not even, like, an hour of, like, him, like, showing uh, her, like, all his, like, uh, research and, like, figuring out who these tiny people are, does she decide, does she decide you know what, I, I'm out, I don't want to do this. But, so, uh, fuck her! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to believe him, but like, dude, that's her fucking dad. You're just gonna fucking leave him? Also, I... she gets shrunk then, and then has to endure all this crap. She gets better. Uh, also, uh, the thing that really pisses me off is like, okay, so they have to get the seed, who will be either the new queen of the good people, or the new okay. evil prince of the bad people. Okay. And, uh, and that's why both the factions, uh, the good uh, people take the seed. So you assume, oh, okay, so we're gonna get a new queen. Except what the seed does is turn like this one like flower or mushroom girl from who, who only had one scene in the opening. Uh huh. About like, and, uh, and she was just like uh, like a uh, like a f like a um, like she was like a fan who just finally got to meet Beyonce. Uh, and she becomes the new queen for some reason. She's a child, by the way. Oh, okay. I feel, I feel like I, I, I kind of don't want to see it, but I feel like I gotta show you guys that just so you understand what the hell is going on. You won't. I don't want to. But at least there'd be an attempt. <laughs> we, we can all make fun of it. Hell, we could get uh, 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 screenwriter Changus back. Maybe he can make a better one. I, I suppose. <laughs> that, that uh, I, but enough, ra uh -huh. uh, enough ranting about Epic for now. We could do that some other time. Uh, the next movie... Oh, God, please don't. Oh, my gosh. No, it is not. It is not an Ice Age movie. It is Rio 2, which hey. I didn't see... 
because the whole plot of the first movie was to find these two was to get these two birds to repopulate this critically endangered species only for the second one to reveal oh no they're not endangered at all they're all just uh, out in the wild oh i hate it oh that's a fucking I'm lie just- yeah, I hate it when fucking sequels say, oh yeah, uh, the the whole goal of the first movie was pointless. Oh, uh, but, well... I just hate that trip in general. Do you, do you want me to make a sadder? I know. That movie's a fucking lie for real life, too. It the, is. The, spe- the species is... They're not... They're... Okay. The species is extinct... In the wild, they, they only exist in in captivity. Which it, it's hard to. Yeah. yeah, I hate the trope in general. Like the Star Wars Rebels is just a bad show. Uh, one of the characters, uh, I can't even remember his name. Uh, his species was wiped out. Like the Empire destroyed every member of his species on his home planet. Uh, it turns out that wasn't actually the species' home planet. Oh, lovely. Um, right, home right, 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 uh, oh, what's his uh, name? Zeb. Zeb. Zeb, yeah, from Star Wars Rebels. His, yeah, his home planet was actually very... Uh, his home planet was very well secluded from the rest of the galaxy, and how the species managed to leave it at all is a mystery. This, they don't bring that up in the show, I just mean, like... Coming out of I don't think that was their planet. home planet. I think that was just a, their new home planet that they somehow had to discover something like that it's confusing and brings me it gives me another headache but like that we could do that whenever if we decide to do star wars rebels for some reason which i'm not against but uh i, just hate, I hate the trope and like everyone i get it. it yes the same i hate it when like yeah i hate it when like like the whole thing is like like um uh, you, you can do what they did with example without having to be the last of a species yeah like the whole I, 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 I don't think I ever said he was the last of his species. Just that his species was so endangered that it, he's essentially a survivor of genocide, essentially. Yeah. Um, but you, but, uh, you don't need to wipe out most of the species to do that. You can just have the Empire attack your home and like you're dealing with the trauma of that. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, where was I? Like, I hate it when, like... Uh, uh, even further, when like the point of a movie is like, it, oh, I got uh, complete this task, and then the next movie reveals, oh, I didn't have to do that task anyway. Mm-hmm. I hate it when that happens, and that's kind of why I never saw Rio Two on principle. It's just like, wow, that was pointless. Yeah, I hate when they don't have a point at all to the thing. It's like, do this thing. What was the point of that? I don't know. Do another thing. Wow. Uh, so, so I need, I need to get my, my, uh, you know, my wife's father to give me his blessing. I won't give you my blessing. Fine, I don't need it anyway. It's like, if I can. What's the about, point of this shit? Right about Digimon for a second. Uh, the adventure reboot. A lot of the first <laughs> chunk was like, find the holy Digimon. They get the holy Digimon. What was their importance? I have no idea. Kill Millennium on. Oh, as it turns out, the only Digimon that mattered were Gabumon and Agumon, and they had them from the start. Ah, fantastic. So, their next movie. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. What? It's, we're not, we're, it's not another Ice Age movie. That's three in a row. Do you want so me, proud do, of you, do this you, guy. Do you want me to burst a bubble, Nick? Hold on, uh, on Chengus. Uh, Cause they're, uh, this movie. Okay. This movie, uh, while while Robots is my favorite, mm-hmm. this movie is their objective best movie. Oh, I don't know, for them a Sunday for this streak, but they and we already Sunday. covered it t- earlier today. I wasn't there, but we did, and ah. that's the Peanuts movie. Ah, just I don't know. I I I, I say this because I really wasn't there, but I don't know what to say without me repeating Ninjata. Mm. Yeah, he just basically said... I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure anything he said mm-hmm. uh, will... Uh, I Like, I'm, I'm, did, did he mention that there's, an, like, only, like... Like, uh, there's no, like, modern references? 
I don't. Like there's no, like there's no, like there's no iPhones or there's no. No, you didn't. You didn't mention that part. I no, I... It's, it's 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 completely faithful. Hmm. Like it's not. I'd say there's like one, like there's a, like one or two pop songs, but it's like, uh, like other than that, it's f completely perfect. I love the Peanuts movie. I never got the chance to see it. Oh, we gotta change that. That it's one way. It it's definitely my second favorite Blue Sky film. But that's only because I'm so biased about robots. <laughs> like you guys don't even know. Well, I mean, who wouldn't be biased for a movie featuring Obi Wan Kenobi <laughs> trying to get find Mel Brooks to get a job with the help of Robin Williams and his homeless gang? <laughs> you know, I, I feel good about this. I feel like uh, we're on a good streak. Well, you know, despite the fact that Epic, but like, uh, I think we're finally having a good, like, f finally getting a rise for Blue Sky. What's their next film? Fuck. Yeah. I staged Collision Course. That is five Ice Age movies. Five. This. If you don't want to count, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. That's five so right as of now. Uh -huh. We have five Ice Age movies. I didn't even see it. All I know is, dude, we got fucking aliens in this one. I see. So uh, obviously there was like a background gag in the first movie where there was a, a UFO frozen in the ice. Uh huh. Did you ever think that was ever going to be a plot point instead of a gag? No. Neither did I, but here we are. I see. Also, mo uh, also the aliens are look like scrat, but fucking thick for some reason. What? No, it, it, they're called scratazons. They're basic. They're basically female aliens, but their heads are just green scrat heads. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, it's like that's like the only thing I know about uh, that movie, other than what Shea Frillis said about it. Huh. Uh, also, apparently, D uh, Diego and uh, has like has like his arc is like have uh, f sad him being sad that people find him scary because he's a tiger or some shit. Which, okay. really? Really? That's his arc. Yeah. Okay. Also, also the, uh, the female, the female tiger is kind of just there. Oh. She's a woman. Hell, hell, mo pretty much all the female characters except for Manny's daughter is just there. Manny has a daughter? Yeah, remember uh, Dawn of the Dinosaurs? They have a child there. Like, I don't remember anything from that movie. <laughs> you should at least remember the fact that uh, Sid abducted a bunch of children. I don't. Them as own. I don't. <laughs> the only thing I the only thing I remember is that it's that apparently dinosaurs still are alive, and one of the characters is voiced by Simon Pegg. Yeah, Buck, and he's actually pretty decent. Also, what bones? We, also, uh. They had. Uh, I want to go back to the Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Really. There's this like. There's this one. There's one scene I think is actually legitimately good. Okay. And that's the scene when, uh, like, like the big dinosaur that Buck was fighting all this time. He thinks is dead, mm -hmm. and so now he's kind of just like, "Fuck, what am I gonna do now?" Hmm. And then, uh, so he's kind of. So. Yeah, it's like uh, kind of sad because, like, wow, he is—he uh, honestly has nothing left uh, now. And, and and they decide, you know what? You can come live with us. And he's like, okay, yeah. And uh, uh, 
I'm not gonna say this is a backtrack, but I think it's like when you hear the when they're almost getting out and he, they hear the dinosaur roar again, mm -hmm. he goes, "Shit, he's still alive!" And they go, and he's like, uh, and he goes back. Uh -huh. <laughs> honestly, if that ended, honestly, if they ended with Buck there, I, I would have been fine. However, they brought him back uh, for Ice Age 5, which, okay. Speaking of Ice Age 5, uh, here's a here's a picture of the Scratazon. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my. Oh, I can already see the fan art already. Yep. And Nick, to be honest, it's 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 way too fucking easy. <laughs> it's it's way too fucking easy. They already gave her the right proportions and everything. It's like it's too fucking easy. It's too fucking easy. Yeah, I suppose there's a lot of they know exactly how doing situations. It's not fair. It's not fair. So, uh, yeah, Ice Age 5. <laughs> wow, honestly. Do, do, you, do you want me to show this image on stream? If you want. I mean, it's not inappropriate, so. No, but, no, but it's like, you look at it, you go, they knew what they were fucking doing. Well, fair, sure, if you want to uh, go ahead uh, to. There we go, proof. chat. Look at this. Look at this design. It's. It's too fucking easy. It's too easy. You can already see the art. It's too easy. This is just... This is just... It's too easy! It also just occurred to me that every Ice Age movie is like the same plot as the first one, except worse. But pro like, progressively worse. Huh. Like a uh, group of guys have to go have to go uh, point uh go to point B to uh, go to point A to point B and go through a bunch of uh, set pieces along the way. Hmm. They probably had an look at the squirrel done within a day. Oh my god! <laughs> the internet works very fast, and we, yeah. and, and they can work with very little. Yeah. <laughs> they they looted Tesla jelly mom and all we had seen you know, in was the opening. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Ice Age Five. Next movie? Actually, I I haven't seen it, but I've I've only heard pretty good things, and that's Ferdinand. Huh. I've seen it. Is Your it thoughts? good? It, it's all right. It's like uh. You know, for the studio, that's basically good. That's that's a W in Dirt. <laughs> that's pretty much a W at this point. That's a W, man. Yeah. Like, to be honest, like, I think the, the best thing that I can say about the film is it feels like a film made by DreamWorks. Which, in its turn, is an insult to DreamWorks. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Ferdinand... Okay, so... So, so I gotta say this, and it bums me out, out. But I'm basically kind of saying the truth. But John Cena is actually a really good actor, like a shockingly good actor. Well, yeah, John John Cena's a good actor. Yeah. Okay, hold on. If if we're gonna go into this discussion, I should probably. I'm not gonna question. say it. I, 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 I say it mostly just because. Uh, well, it's, 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 well, that. well, also, it's more well, of a... Other than that... Well, also, it's more of a... Good. Yeah, well, also, it's more of a personal thing, and, like... Yeah. And, and plus, here, here, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll... Who what, what few celebrities hasn't done it? Here, I'll... I mean... Here, I'll, I'll tear the band-aid off. Let me press the button. He's a Hollywood celebrity. Well, I was, well, I was, I was, I was, I was just gonna, I wasn't gonna mention what he did. I was just gonna say, like at this point, it's like, if you're really expecting a Hollywood actor to have the same, you know, quote unquote, beliefs as you, don't, uh, like, 
<laughs> like, they're, they're, they're actors. They're, they're not experts on, I don't know, what, what's, what's, what's the current hot thing everyone's talking about now? Uh, foreign policy? Oh my god. Like, anyway, uh, Ferdinand. Yeah, actually, Ferdinand. You know, I, I'd say a step in the right direction. And then their next movie, Spies in Disguise. Surprisingly really good. Huh. Yes, Chelsea, I know John Cena's in the Bumblebee movie. He was good in that as well. Yes. Uh. So, like, yeah. Uh, Spies in Disguise. Surprisingly really good. Hmm. It's like... Really good action. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm. And, uh... <laughs> uh, the, the chemistry between Will Smith and Tom Holland is, is actually pretty great. Oh. All right. uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd say definitely a, uh, a, another step in the right direction. Like <laughs> finally, after a long steep, they've decided they're going up. And unfortunately, that was the last movie. Because due to the uh, yeah. Disney buying Fox, they basically shut a whole lot of stuff down. That includes Blue Sky. And yet, and yet, they still won't stop the fucking Ice Age stuff. Because we got, like, two exclusive stuff on Disney+, Plus, which is one about Scrap and the other is about Buck. I have no idea. All I know is, it, no, is why? So... Okay, so you want me to? So you know what? I might as well turn the bandit off now since we talked about the whole history of Blue Sky Studios. Okay, here are all the Ice Age stuff you need to know. Ice Age, Ice Age to Meltdown, Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs, Ice Age Continental Drift, Ice Age Collision Course, Ice Age, and that's the main movies. Ice Age Gone Nutty. Those, those, these are short films now. Ice Age No Time for Nuts. Ice Age Surviving Skid. Ice Age Scratch oh, Continental shit. Crack. Up. You're right about time travel. They already did it in one of the shits. Oh my god. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. It was a, it was a short on, uh, on the, on the, no time on for the nuts. Ice Age 2 DVD. No Time for Nuts. Ice Age Scratch Continental Crack Up. Ice Age Scr Scratch Continental Crack Up Part 2. Cosmic Scrataf Scratastrophe. Scratch Spaced Out. A short literally called The End. Ice Age A Mammoth <laughs> Christmas. Ice Age The Great Ex. The Great Excapade. The spin off movie Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild. And the television series Ice Age Scrat Tales. They won't let this fucking series die, despite the fact that the animals in that movie. Have By the way, we have not even talked about the stage. fucking video games related to Ice Age. Ah yes. Ice Age, the video game for Game Boy Advance. Ice Age 2, the meltdown for PlayStation 2, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Xbox, and Microsoft Windows. Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, released under Activision for Microsoft Windows, Wii, DS, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. Ice Age 3, Boulder Drop, an online game. Ice Age 3, Dino Dinner, an online game. Ice Age 3, Slippery Slope, an online game. Ice Age Villain. Village, a mobile video game released by Gameloft for iOS and Android services. And on April 24, 2013, for Windows phones. Microsoft has their own phones now? Okay. Ice Age Continental <laughs> Drift, Arctic Games. Once again, Activision for Wii, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo oh, 3DS, and Xbox 360. Ice Age Online, a free-to-play browser game developed by Bing Point Games. I don't think it's available anymore because the link, the hyperlink is all redded out. Ice Age Clueless Ice Sloth, an online game. Ice Age Adventures was released by Gameloft for iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and Windows 8. Wow, Windows 8, fuck. 
Ice Age Avalanche Mobile Match 3 game released by Gameloft. Ice Age Arctic Blast, a mobile match 3 game released by Zynga for iOS and Android. Ice Age Mission Control, an online game. Ice Age Manic Media Run, an online game. Ice Age Geo Jam, an online game. Ice Age Coloring Book, there is a coloring book Ice Age game. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done. Ice Age Matching Cards, an online game. And finally, Ice Age Scratch Nutty Adventure, released by Outright Games in 2019 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and Microsoft Windows. Now, you want, now you're probably wondering, why do they keep fucking making Ice Age movies? Well, let's find out what the big buzz is. So, the first Ice Age movie made over a or $176 million with a $59 million budget. Ice Age 2 had a hun made $195 million with an $80 million budget. Ice Age 3 got a $196 over over $196 million with a budget of $90 million. Keep in mind these the current uh, box office I'm talking about right now is just only domestic. And we're talking about North America. And then, after the third one, we see a drastic downfall. Ice Age 4. Over $161 with a budget of $95 million. And finally, the, act the absolute abysmal Ice Age Collision Course. $64 million with a budget of $105 million. Now you're wondering, well, if Ice Age... If the fifth Ice Age movie did so fucking poorly, why did they keep moving, making more? Because a lot of their money is made up in worldwide box office. Ice Age 1 made over $383 million. Ice Age 2 made over $660 million. Ice Age 3 made over $886 million. Ice Age 4 made over $877 million. And then finally, Ice Age 5 saw a downfall with $408 million. Now, we don't know about how much the Ice Age... The the newest one, the spin-off movie with Buckmate, because it was released on Disney Plus. <sighs> so I called Blue Sky the the little animation studio that could have. And that's actually because uh so obviously there's uh, of their catalog uh the library uh they had more bad than good in fact it's probably because most of the bad actually comes from ice age it's so much ice age so much ice age uh and so it's depressing because uh there's a lot of bad, obviously. However, the few goods I had are actually really pretty good. Oh my god, there was a live show for Ice Age. Ugh. Ice Age Live, a mammoth adventure, a live arena ice show. The plot begins with baby mammoth peaches being kidnapped. Oh boy, and Manny has to rescue her with the gang. This feels like purgatory. <laughs> I finally understand what they won't what let this fucking you franchise die. <laughs> Just let me die. Um, let me die in peace. I'm perfect. I was perfect. I was too perfect. I I'd say this franchise is on life support, but hey, you've guys seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre, right? Remember the old fucking grandpa uh, of the Sawyer family? Yeah. That's basically Ice Age. It just won't it's die. A, it's, a 20, it's a 24 year old man. Is he really playing an old man? 
<laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's like a probably over 24 year old franchise, probably less than obviously like it's a, uh, but obviously it, it should have died a long time ago. Anyway, uh, so, but like of all the movies, like most of it's bad, but like there was of the good they had, they actually had pretty good ones. Like, uh, Robots, Peanuts Movie, Spice of the Skies, Ice Age. The original, I mean. Let's make that, let's make that clear. Oh, no, I still kind of like the second one. Eh, the second one's okay. But, like... Like... The studio had potential. It just never got, I don't think it was able to reach the heights it could have gotten. Yeah. Well, well, like, the the problem with it is just, like, every time they try to do something that wasn't Ice Age, like, it, well, nobody saw time, it. Like, it, yeah. it just resulted in, in financial, like, like, complete, just, yeah, it's like, bombing. Which, like, damn. Hmm. It's, it's like, it's like, you know, you know what it is, it's, it's, it's that one thing where, like, we want to do our, we want to do this one thing, but we really like you doing this other thing. Yeah, but if we keep doing this other thing, then it's gonna, you know, it's gonna grow still. No! We will only watch that other thing. Now I'm bummed, because like again, it could have it could have been amazing. And uh, I forgot if it was uh, late last year or earlier this year that uh, the studio was shut down. With Spies in the Skies being their final movie, which you know what, pretty good way to end up on. At least they ended up with a high note rather than a win. Hmm. Uh, and yeah. It's kind of very sad. However, uh, the team, like the Amers at Blue Sky, got together to do one last thing, That's and right. uh, it was it was a, it's a small clip. It's just a but it's just a small clip. It's, but Scrap finally got his acorn. He did. Actually, I have to. I can actually put that link. Uh, I found like it was a Twitter video, but I found it on Twitter and I could put it in the chat. There we go. Finally gave him his acorn. And you know what? Probably the best ending, ending that they could give him. Yeah. Now, if only they can let the franchise just die itself. Well, Damn it, Disney! You have this, so many this, franchises. Can you this, just not get rid of? Can you just get rid of one? And Disney. Now it's Disney's baby. So that's gonna be fun. <sighs> I'm excited for Ice Age. Up that idea. <laughs> I'm excited for Ice Age and Kingdom Hearts Seven. <laughs> Uh, SGD, when you said Ice Age and Kingdom, I, I literally almost had a panic attack because I thought, oh my god, they actually announced the Milk Ice Age project. Well, well, yeah, they did. Like, there's this, there's Ice Age 6 is in development. No, Ice Age 6 was their spinoff with Buck. Unless they're doing well, an, another, another different Ice Age? Yeah. Yeah. They don't. They haven't announced if it's a spinoff or a sequel.
money. God, I found a way to actually get legitimately torture someone, and that is to tie someone to a chair and force them to watch all the Ice Age movies. Uh... Now, I'm not going to subject that to anyone. Just saying, if you want to torture someone, that's a good way to do it. Well, if I, if that happened, you know I would just... You know what's funny? You know what's funny? The Ice Age movies are like... Like a steep decline. Like... Uh, like It's not even like... Uh, oh, like the... At least the third one is slightly better than the second one. No, the movies keep progressively getting worse after another. Like, oh, you think uh, the third one was bad? The fourth one's gonna be worse. You think that's bad? The fifth one's gonna be worse. It keeps getting worse. Ah, uh, just like the Predator. Ah. I've made myself sad. I thought you were going to say you made yourself mad. Yes. It, I could do both, honestly. Ah. Uh. Smad. Let's go with that. <laughs> You're smad. I am smad. I see. Anyway, Blue Sky Studios. Tragic... A tragic tale, honestly. But at least they went out on, I'd say, two high notes. A good movie and a good and good closure for the fucking score. Now, if only they could actually let the fucking series rest. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. That's all you gotta uh, say. Yeah, of the, of the good ones I mentioned, uh, I'd recommend them. Mm. Avoid the bad ones, though. Yeah. Him guy says, Ice Age, kill me. That's, that's Ice Age. Uh, I made myself sad, too. Oh, well. I'll make myself happy next week. Yeah. Finally. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's that's it. That's the show. We kind of ended on a bummer, actually. Wow. Now I think of it. Are there something? Quickly, think of something to uh, lift a mood. Uh... No, I'm a my <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, so I guess with that, we can end the show. God damn it, Chelsea's so sucky, sucky time. <laughs> <laughs> that always gets me. Uh, yeah, we. We should probably call the show here. When does it's one thirty where I am? It's it's like almost five where you are not. It's a, it's a almost uh, four thirty. Yeah. So the anime guy, you can't kill Ice Age. There's plenty of ice to keep the body fresh. Oh my <sighs> god! <laughs> <laughs> ice Age. Ice Age needs to, like, Ice Age needs to turn into Stone Age really quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so we're gonna, so we're gonna call the stream here. You guys got any last words? Uh, um... Ooh, uh, okay, uh... Mm. Changus, have you seen the North Man? I n no. You gotta go see the North Man. I will go see it. Changus, you gotta see it. I will. Okay, have you seen it yet? No. <laughs> God damn. I'll see it Monday. You do realize this? This is now.
a self-inflicted, a self-inflicted pain. God. I'll go fucking watch it, guys. All right, I'll go fucking watch it so we could, so we could, so we could talk spoilers about it next week. Go see it. I will. God damn, <laughs> pastor. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about you, Not? You got any last words? That's fine. Uh, it's like... So... I guess... I'm sorry, I, I used up all... I used up all my lighthouse memes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I think, I think it's the exhaustion hitting you, man. You sure you want to stay up to watch a movie? Yeah, I I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, no, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that when I get rest. Yeah. Wait, were we gonna watch a movie after this? No, rem- no, no. Remember, not said he was thinking of either watching. Uh, he was either watching. Oh goddamn it! There's a fucking bot. Chelsea, there's a bot. Get 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 fucking rid of it. Uh, Joe Kid seventy five. That's a fucking bot. Get rid of it. I got it. You got it. All right. All right. There we go. Uh, no, but Nick, no. Not said he was gonna either watch the lighthouse or. I, re- I, do I, I remember now. Yeah. All right. What about you, Esther? You got last words? God, I hope we see the babies in Ghost Game. <laughs> there we go. All right. So thank you all for coming, and I'll see you guys uh, next... Oh, wait, actually, wait, wait, hold on. Actually, before I call it night, I should actually say the schedule for next week. Uh, next week is going to be busy. Because uh, guess what? I got another paper to write. Fine. So I'm going to be busy next all week next week. So I'm only going to. So. But I don't want. But I don't want to just, you know, not stream. Because I like streaming. So I'm only going to stream two times next week. Thursday for more SWOTOR. Because I love when Gojira's around. Yeah. And then, you know, Saturday, obviously, Two Cents Live, where we could finally talk about the Norseman spoilers. But other than that, it's going to be... No, Nick! <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> no, Go see but... it. I will! I'll see it Monday! I'll see it literally after class! I, I-, I will fucking... I will fucking buy the ticket uh, right now if you... <laughs> God damn. <laughs>